Hi! In this episode, I'm going to show you some uses for Print Composer templates. A new Print Composer can be added with a button, through the menu, or with Ctrl P. You can name the composer, but if you don't, a name will be created for you. This will create a blank layout with the default A4 landscape size. So if that is what you want, you're done. If not, you can use the Composer Manager instead by clicking the button or selecting it from the menu. The Composer Manager lists all project composers and you can show, duplicate, remove and rename them here. You can also add new composers from either an empty template, which is the same as before, from a specific file you browse for, or from a previously created and saved template. I'm going to use a letter template in portrait orientation. The templates should be stored in the QGIS2 Composer Templates folder, in order to be selectable from this drop-down list. Here I've created a template with the correct page size and orientation, some graphics and texts, but no map element. I could add a new map element with the Add New Map button, but then I'd need to style it, adding grids and scale. Instead I use the Add Items from Template option, and open a previously created template with a styled map element. When you add templates this way, page size and orientation is ignored and only the elements are added. The scale remains set since the template has the scale locked with the data defined overrides. Now I can easily change the text and graphics or add new elements to the map finishing it up. I can also add elements from more templates or exchange elements for new ones. When you remove and replace map elements, you need to check that any associated elements gets updated to apply to the new map. To save a composer as a template, you just select the option from the menu and choose a location. If you want it to appear in the templates drop-down list, you save it in the QGIS2 Composer Templates folder. Don't forget to check out previous episodes for more QGIS quick tips and see you next time!